Hey everybody. It is Lemsy, and I am sitting in the middle of McIntyre Park because uh, tonight is a perfect night to view the moon. In fact, I'm gonna go home and I'm going to uh, go to sleep a little early tonight, just a little early. Uh, because we have off tomorrow for election day and I definitely want to get up early and vote which is cool I'm gonna come down here see if we can see Orion anyway I'm gonna vote tomorrow but I'm out here tonight because uh, the eclipse, partial eclipse of the moon, is going to happen tomorrow. And I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I don't know whether you'll be able to see. I doubt that you will. Uh, although the moon is really bright tonight. I just got a pair of binoculars for stargazing and uh, they are so heavy. I have a little bit of a shake as it is, a little essential tremor as they call it. But uh, they're so heavy that I'm not able to use them without a tripod. And luckily it came with a tripod adapter. But I happen to be sitting in a part of the park right now. Let's see if you can see this tree or any of this. Happen to be sitting in a part of the park right now that I've never stumbled upon before. And it's pretty amazing. There are all these uh, trees here that are fairly protected. It's an open field. Great views of Orion and the moon and Cassiopeia and Pegasus and Wow, just a great, great view out here. And it's free, and I'm not bothering anybody. Just enjoying myself. There is Jupiter. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that at all. There's the moon again. Might as well keep the moon in play. Maybe that will be more interesting. It's very bright tonight. Almost full. It will be full at 6 a.m. It's about 9 p.m. right now, 9.30. It will be a full moon at 6 a.m. after the partial eclipse. And in between the moon and Jupiter, I have been seeing uh, meteors which is pretty amazing because of the Tarids. And somewhere up there, although the moon is so bright, it's very hard to see, is Taurus. And I just noticed Orion show up this season last night while I was up here. It really makes it easy to spot, even though there is a lot of uh, light pollution in this area. It gets pretty dark out here around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, after all the baseball fields have shut up games and skate park is closed down. It's really beautiful out here. Man, I hope that you can see Orion. That would be great. So anyway, I'm so excited. I took a different path in McIntyre Park tonight and walked down this long hill and crossed a little stream and it was like a wonderland. It was away from the traffic, couldn't hear a thing. Really, really beautiful. Found some great uh, small stones as memoirs. And then when I walked back up here, there were all of these trees and they all have tags telling what kind of tree they are, 
which is incredibly important to me because uh, you can look at illustrations or you can look at photos of trees, but until you're sitting in front of the tree and looking at its leaves and looking at its bark and really studying it, I find it very difficult to understand uh, botany and species and uh, all the things that some people seem to take for granted because they did some education in naturalism. I'm trying to do that finally. And uh, propagation is part of that. So I just love that I live basically across the street from here. I've been here for six years and probably this is my 10th time or sixth time in the park. And I just can't believe what a, an opportunity it is to come explore here. It's, it's a massive, massive park. The story of it is really interesting. I looked it up. Uh, I couldn't recite it for you, but I did look it up. Anyway, having a great night. Really looking forward to the eclipse. Take one more look at the beautiful moon. See if I can zoom in on it just a little bit. Ooh, too much AI. Anyway, the moon is pretty cool. I'll see y'all later.